Well, peeps, as you can see, um, I've stripped the X and the Z axis down, and uh, I've now got um, the clamp for the Dremel to go on the Z axis that came yesterday, and I shall be uh, carrying on with uh, the X. I'm still waiting for. Uh, the uh, clamp I'm going to use for the uh, long nut on the threaded bar uh, for, the Z, uh, for attaching to the Z-axis but um, everything else is okay because uh, what I've done is I've screwed the uh, cl uh, bearing clamps in position and um, what I'm going to do is I'm not going to drill a hole through, I'm going to cut out a piece so that I've got plenty of room for adjustment. Um, the stepper motor isn't going to be a problem because I can mount it sideways and I can have plenty of security at this end. So. Uh, that's it so far, folks. And uh, when I get to uh, doing the next bit, I should be filming that as well. Right, my friends, I've um, done this cutout, which is where the uh, stepper motor is going to sit at this end of the uh, X axis. And is this cutout? where the manual positioner will fit on the end of the uh, thread. So now we can put this in. And then what I'm going to do is couple it up to the stepper motor. And then I shall mark out the uh, holes at the side and fix this in position. And then that will be the X axis drive complete. Now, I think a few of you observant people will have noticed that I've moved the bearing carriers right to the back of the support. The reason for that is I don't know how big the clamp for the long nut is going to be. It hasn't arrived yet. I had hoped that before I started this that it will all be here. Um, I managed to get the Dremel clamp here after a whole five weeks from China and having to get on to the uh, supplier. That's the first time I've ever had any problems with getting stuff from China and I bought a lot of stuff. So um, that's the reason for that being back that far because I didn't want to be on this edge or in the middle and then find that I'm too close. I'd rather be at the back far too far away and then have to pack it in okay I don't mean pack in the build or the modification I mean pack uh, sh or shim that's the word I should have used shim the gap with uh, whatever to uh, fix it, uh, put, position it all properly okay so uh, that's how far I've got so far and I'll bring you back when I've got the stepper motor in place and uh, I'll have the uh, manual operating handle on the other end and then uh, we'll be ready to put the um, x-axis carrier uh, yeah, x-axis carrier for the z-axis in position and then uh, we can then get stuck into the uh, z-axis We're uh, 
course here. And um, I've just got to uh, get the clamp that goes on here. And then I am going to have to shim it uh, a fair bit, probably the thickness of this board. But that's, that's not a problem. Um, as you can see, I put the manual control on and the stepper is in place with the x-axis. And now that uh, the z-axis carrier is in place, I can now start uh, to build the z-axis. Right. Onward and upwards, as they say.